Okay, so picture this. A gourmet dinner served with the perfect wine and the perfect music played table side. Well, that's what you'll get if you have Paul Collin, musician, personal chef, sommelier, in charge. And lucky for us, he's in the Del Marva Life kitchen today. Oh, wow, thanks for having me. Yeah, what thanks for like being It's been a while. It has yeah, been a while. A couple months anyways, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So what are you making for us today? Well, I'm going to make chicken cacciatore. Oh, boy. Yeah, which in, uh, in Italian or in, in Italy, it's a hunter stew. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I did that's not what they had uh, up north in the wintertime. Uh, we're going to do a summery version with uh, chicken breast, but normally they do, uh, they braise chicken thighs and legs and stuff. And yeah. Then they make the sauce. So that makes yeah. it a little healthier using the breast? Yeah, for sure. But you know, thigh meat is, you know, that's really good. I do. <laughs> I like that's my favorite. Yeah, for okay, sure. so yeah. when, when, then we probably should get going yeah, right, with Cole, us. You want to put the chicken in there? Can you do that? Do it. Oil or anything, or just dump no, 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 it right in? Like it has some oil on it. In the pan. Yeah. Now you have something on top yeah, of it. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. This is, uh, Spice, it's a Tuscan spice. Uh huh. And, uh, wow, you do that really well. <laughs> I can dump things with the best of them. I know. <laughs> so it's a Tuscan spice. Uh, you guys remember the band Manhattan Transfer? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So my friend Erin Dickens, uh, she's the founding member. She has her own line of spices out. Get out. Yeah, oh, called about Sizzle that. and That's Swing. Awesome. So. Oh my. Smell that. Oh. oh that that she's nice. got about so 10 good. or 12 spices out now. So, uh, yeah, I use her stuff almost exclusively. It's really, really cool stuff. That's so, neat. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so we got that, and uh, you feel like cutting anything up except for your fingers? Okay, sure. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's do some, uh, let's do some peppers. So that's okay. gonna be what massive. am I doing to it? Yeah, just kind of a, well, this is kind of a hunter stew, some kind of rough chop, just kind of, okay. yeah, small, bitey pieces. I, I, I small know there's pieces. a fancy way to do this, but I'm no good at it. <laughs> He's been doing well, He's though. He's doing good. I, I have kept yeah. all my fingers, fingers out of the way. Yes. Yeah. See? Yeah. 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 Okay, so this is cooking up here. You're just going to yep. brown it a little bit. You can smell bit. that now, huh? Yeah. You guys have smell vision yet? No, oh, okay. we, we still haven't working figured on, that one out still yet. Still working on that? Yeah, yeah. yeah go right, right in there. Right. Yep, yep. So oh, the next we're going to do an onion. I'll, I'll do that. You do the onion. <laughs> <laughs> so th there's a couple ways of doing it. You know, we want it a little bit chunky. So what we're going to do is uh, you go along this and always keep your hand up like that. Mm -hmm. right? And yeah. just kind of go back and forth until you got a mark. And then you could do it. If you're going to do a dice, you do a smaller, but I'm going to do kind of a bigger one. Of course, try to keep the claw like that when you're doing stuff like that. Yeah. Because yeah. when your finger wanders, it, you cut off you the edge. You told me this years ago. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> I only say that because I cut off my fingernail recently. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. wow. So, so, so you're do doing a lot of cooking with your I personal am. chef business? Oh, my business? God, this personal chef business has taken off. I cooked for over 2,000 people last year. Really? Yeah, 2,000. Oh, my goodness. Like, God. Glad you have time for us. Yeah, I know. You love doing this. I do. You? you know, my grandmother was a full-blooded Italian, you know, so I've been making pasta since I was 10 years old. All my friends were playing baseball, and I was making pasta. You were making pasta. <laughs> no, I suck at baseball, but I'm really good at cooking. Well, yeah, there you yeah. go. So, there you go. All right. See, that's a skill. Looks like we need a little bit of oil, and I'm going to use the oil from the uh, olive orchard in uh, in uh, Rehoboth Beach. Oh, really? Have you guys been there? The I, olive I, I have not been there. Really cool. They got all kinds of balsamic vinegars and really, really good olive oil. Yeah, okay, so letting that cook up a little bit. Cool. Yep. You want to go ahead and uh, throw the olives in there? You don't have to do anything. Yeah. But How about I throw the in, olives? Am I throw? I got okay. to at least look like I'm working, you <laughs> exactly. know. Exactly. So there, uh, there you man, go. Man, I like oh. how you did that. You had wow. a little jiggle. A little jiggle. Like you've done it's this all before. in the style, yep. you know. <laughs> got some olives in there. What and kind of we, olives are those? Just those are, we got Kalamata olives. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, we want them pitted, so, you know, you're not taking a big bite. And then just regular green olives. It's a nice mixture of... Uh, the two different olives. I like so. the color, the fall colors yep. there. So you want to cut a mushroom up for me? Can I? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Would you let me? Just go one, one, and then across, kind of in that same. One, one, and then yeah. across. Hmm. Okay. See, have you noticed how he's looking at what I'm doing here? You making yes. a claw? You doing the claw? See? Where's that it? thing? How was that? Oh yeah, we had the tip top. Huh? Oh yeah. Uh, RJ Bats uh, wow. left for us last that week. That would work really good for, for Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. I think. Huh? yeah. Huh? You want to scoop them up and put them in there? That was okay? That was, yeah, right? yeah, was acceptable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he went with that? Yep. You oh can my take goodness. the rest of those too if you want to put them in there. These two. The ones right. that are cut up really nice. The, <laughs> the ones I you know who do. Yeah, the ones who did. Right, yeah. Thanks for pointing that oh. out too. All right, cool. So we're having fun with that now. And uh, I want to show everybody a trick. So this is uh, tomato paste, right? Okay. So, to get it out of the can cleanly, you uh, this one has a pop top, but if it had mm -hmm. both sides, you would cut both sides like this, and then uh, and this is really good tomato paste from uh, from Italy. It's a uh, San Marzano. You uh -huh. know San Marzano? They're like the heirloom tomatoes of Italy. Oh. That's like when you see San Marzano on a menu or uh, on a can, buy it. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna pop the top, oh. and then oh come on, it's gonna work. Kind of like how you watch, open jelly cranberry yeah, sauce. Look, look at that. With barely any waste at all, 
And there you go. There you go. Well, See, yeah, they've gotten both ends into it. Right. Can we yeah. stir that up? Yeah, that'd okay. be great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so San Marzano are the best. That's what that is. That's what that you're going to get your hands in there real quick. In there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. I mean, three years ago, I wasn't cooking for people in their homes, and that's what I do. <laughs> it's crazy. And yeah. you're, you, you're a sommelier. Yeah, I uh, just passed my uh, second level sommelier, so that means I have a certificate to say I've drank a lot of wine. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I that's need important. that certificate. The cool part is that you have the green light to drink wine at 10 in the morning because you have to taste. Well, you have to. You have to. Yeah. And I got little glasses there. <laughs> you pour them in there. And uh, so, you, yeah. You chose like, this very carefully, didn't you? Yeah, I really did. Right, we got a break coming up here pretty quick, so what okay. else do we need to do? What you need to do is uh, San Marzano tomatoes. Right. Just squeeze them right over. So do it over the top and squeeze them, and then with put my the hand? whole thing in there. Yeah. 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 Just squeeze it. Yeah. Squeeze it. Put it in there. Yeah. Okay. Real easy because you there washed you your hands yesterday, right? Look at that. Yeah. Like so? See? <laughs> so you want it kind of chunky too, so that's why. Do you want another you one? Want it. Yeah, yeah. Really? We'll put another one in there. Man, nobody ever told me I got to do this during the show. There we go. <laughs> this is the best job. Good. See, one more. One more. Yeah. All the fun. Yes. You are good. So the you know the, when you crush them with your hands like that, it actually gives it like more of a rustic look, also instead of chopping it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Once okay. So what we're right. gonna do is we're gonna put this all together with some homemade pasta that you have, yep. mm -hmm. and we will be right back with personal chef Paul Collin. Can't wait to taste this.